Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. I hope this video finds you really, really well. And if you are new here and you like planning and organization, lifestyle, skincare, product reviews, basically, if you like anything, this channel is going to have something for you. So you might as well click subscribe. And if you are joining us here on YouTube, hop on over and follow me on Instagram. I'll leave my handle right here on the screen. We have a fast building community over on Instagram. I post every single day. And whether it is on YouTube or Instagram, I respond and answer every single comment and we are growing quickly, so go ahead and join. I'm really excited to bring April's favorites, and like you guys always request, I have a variety of things to share with you, so without further ado, let's go ahead and jump in. But remember, I will leave everything that I can find linked down below because nothing is more frustrating than hearing someone talk about it and not be able to find it. In November, a long time ago, oh my goodness, that seems so long ago, I bought this dry brush from Aromatherapy Associates of London off of Netta Porter. I had been reading a lot of things in different magazines and online bloggers about dry brushing before taking a bath. I really did, I did dry brush November, December, and January, but it was really inconsistent. I would say February, March, and April, I was very consistent before every single shower and every single bath to dry brush. And let me tell you, my friends, my skin has never been softer or more clear. And I think one huge reason for that is because the dry brush really opens up your skin, brushes off dead skin cells, and allows the products you're using to really penetrate your skin and you get the most out of them. I am now hooked on this and this dry brush is amazing. It is super high quality, it is so comfortable. It is the right amount of like scratchiness without being too irritating to your skin. I really, really highly recommend you start dry brushing. You will see a difference in the first time, but if you keep it really consistent, you will see a very big difference in your skin over time. And I am now a fan of this. The next two things I'm gonna talk about are like soaps and body washes. One I had bought a long time ago at Sephora. It was in like a big box set and I just never opened it. And that is the Soul Brazilian Foreplay Moisturizing Shower Cream Gel. I absolutely love this. And now that I've opened it, this is my second one for the month of April and it's already down to about here. Um, this body wash has quickly become one of my favorites. One of the reasons, no one probably knows what this is, but my mom always made this dessert called pistachio fluff, and it was like whipped cream, pistachios, and pineapple all mixed together. Um, it is still one of my favorite desserts. It's very good. Maybe I should make it and share it with all of you. But this smells like pistachio fluff, and it's super soft, and I feel my skin is really moisturized after I use it, and I just really love it. The next two products I'm going to talk about, I actually bought three, but one wasn't very successful. I think I actually vlogged about this a couple weekends ago, but it's from Seven Chakra Soap, and it's called Whipped Soap. And what it is, is a really light and fluffy soap. I hope the camera picks it up. And um, you just put it on your loofah sponge or your washcloth and it lathers up really well. But what gets me about it is the smell. So this one is strawberry and this one is mango papaya. They smell amazing. They're really light, really fluffy, and they lather up really well. And I don't use these all the time, but when I'm looking just to jazz things up with a really great fragrance, I always reach for these and I really enjoyed them this month. Now let's dive into some skincare, and I'm going to apologize now because the products I'm about to talk about are pricey, but they work really, really well. And that is the La Mer Moisture Soft Cream and the Mer Revitalizing Hydrating Serum. Now you're going to say, Christopher, you just bought this one a week ago, and how can you tell us that you already love it for the month? And you just bought this one about two weeks ago in a vlog, how can you tell me that you already love it? That's because for about the last month and a half, Olga, my skincare lady, has given me the tiniest of samples because I wouldn't commit to splurging on them. So I've had about four of these little jars of the soft cream and about five or six of the serums and I've been using them and I've seen such a huge difference in my skin that I realized that like, Christopher, you can't keep asking for samples because you look ridiculous and you just have to splurge 
on the product. And I will tell you that a little bit goes a long way. This little tiny jar, I was getting like six to eight days worth out of this tiny, tiny thing. So the serum and the soft cream, I use them together, both in my morning and my evening skincare routine. After I'm completely cleansed and clean and ready to go for the day, I put on the serum first and let it completely dry down. It does dry down really quick for a serum, which is very helpful. Once again, I use the tiniest of pump and it'll last me a long time. After it's all dry and set in, I go in with the soft cream just to get like one more layer of moisture and it really locks in the serum. I will tell you, gang, my skin has been so soft. I would encourage you to go to a skincare store that carries La Mer and request some samples and say that you want to try them because they will give you these little jars and you will get a lot of use out of them. Do it, request it, don't be afraid to, and I will tell you, you will see a difference and you will fall in love with this product line. The next thing I'm going to talk about is a fragrance that I have been loving the month of April. And once again, this was in a vlog and that is Stash by SJP. It is a beautiful, leathery, woody, spicy, warm with a little bit of lavender and sweetness to it. It is like the perfect balance. I love it. I purposely put on no fragrance after I got ready so that I could put it on because the last vlog I ended up smelling like 900 different things, or as I like to say, a floozy. Ah, oh, it is just so, so good. It reminds me a little bit of the SJP candle that you all know that I love, but I'm not going to end there because one of you recommended that I layer it with my favorite Elizabeth and James bourbon. And let me tell you, when you put these two fragrances together, ah, oh, it is probably the most favorite of fragrances that I have ever, ever worn. Elizabeth and James bourbon with SJP stash. They are a match made in heaven. They are like peas and carrots, cookies and milk. They are just flawless. I love it. Next, I'm going to talk about a planner thing. And I just got it. And I just posted the video on my first setup ever yesterday, which thank you for all the positive feedback. You guys are really liking it. And that is the Loish Term, thank you for correcting my pronunciation, 1917 Bullet Journal. And you could say like, hey Christopher, you haven't even dove into this, you're using it for the first week of May. I don't care. Because I have never had more fun setting up a planner than I have had with this. And if you wanna see my setup, I will leave that video linked down below, but honest to goodness, I have never had more fun. I feel like I've been so creative with it and I have just loved the process of getting this thing up and running and I think I'm really going to like it. So, bullet journaling, video link down below, check it out. Next are two fashion favorites. And the one came from one of you, which no one will disclose who sent it to me. I actually picked it up the day I came home from being with my family after the loss of my grandfather. And I can tell you it was one of the most moving, most personal things. Um, I don't, I think I may have ever received, I might get emotional talking about it. Um, but whoever sent it, thank you so much because it really meant a lot um, that you had thought about me in this way. I'm sorry, gang. And that is this t-shirt. And if you can't see it, it is actually an Anne of Green Gables t-shirt. Um, so Anne's right here. And the quote on it says, because when you are imagining, you might as well imagine something worthwhile. Um, for those who don't know, Anne of Green Gables is a huge thing in my life um, because it is a really deep connection with my grandmother that I lost in August, who um, this tattoo is in honor of. She's like a second mother to me, really important in my life. Um, and the fact that someone thought enough to get me this shirt and send it and then do it in such a random act of kindness way has just really touched me this month and it has meant so much. And I wore it on our trip. I have worn it several times. It actually just came out of the dryer because I've been wearing it a lot. Um, I thank you, whoever it is, and uh, just know that it was really, really special and I really appreciated it, so thank you. The next favorite is something that I've had for a while and they've shown up in vlogs or outfit of the days when I was traveling in France, but I will tell you that they have become a favorite whether I'm dressed down completely casually 
or if I'm even dressed up a little bit. And that is my Jeremy Scott Beverly Hills Adidas Superstars. And what I love about them is they are not that plain white superstar. Instead, these are white with this off-white base, which I love a mix of white and a cream, but they have gold polka dots and the stripes in the back are black. I am obsessed with these shoes. I will throw on a pair of ripped up jeans, cuff them, throw on a white button down or a white t-shirt, and I feel like these make the outfit. I've also dressed them up with like black dress pants that are just slightly cuffed, um, a tucked in like white button down shirt, black belt, and they just add a really cool vibe to any outfit. I am in love with these shoes. Every single month I try to give you my bag favorite. And I've talked about this bag in my what's in my bag carry on edition. I will leave that video linked down below. But I will tell you that I've used this bag for work now, a car trip, a, the trip to Amsterdam, I used it in our trip to France, and I love it. And that is the Burberry, and this is the extra large rucksack. This is the black on black, and many of you have asked me to review it, so I'm going to give you a little bit more in-depth review of it. And I had my monogram, you can get Burberry to monogram them if you buy them online. I found that if you buy them in store, you cannot get them monogrammed, or maybe you can. It just wasn't offered from the sales associate that I was working with because before we dive into this one, the Burberry that I forgot to show in my vacation haul was I ended up picking up the smaller version with the black with the brown leather as well, and I love it. This is just like for like a quick weekend car trip or just towing around for the weekend. We'll dive into this one a little bit later. The Burberry Rucksack, what do you get with it? Well, first you get this very large pocket. It fits an iPad mini or a Kindle, along with like a really large wallet so you can fit a lot in this pocket, which I really appreciate. And then it has two really deep side pockets. I have my wallet in there right now. Um, in here I usually keep like power banks, my wallet, um, really just any odds and ends, oftentimes like a lot of charging things. There are two on each side. What I love about this backpack is that you can wear it all day. When we were in the Netherlands and Belgium last week, I was able to keep this on from 8 in the morning till 8 at night, and it never was uncomfortable. The straps are really padded. They are nice and leather on the bottom, so they're really sturdy and really strong, but what makes it so comfortable is the quilting on the back is so thick that it just doesn't ride or rub and it's just really comfortable to wear all day. When you get to the front, you have two snaps and that's what I really like about it because these look like really complicated buckles that you'll have to like unbuckle. Nope, they just snap on and off. And then you have your drawstring. What I love about this drawstring is that once you cinch it, it truly stays cinched. This piece does not slide down. If anything, when you first get it, it's actually hard to cinch up and then loosen. So when you open it up, it is just a huge opening. And then you do get a zipper pocket right here. And then behind that is like a laptop iPad sleeve. Um, because the back is so padded, it worked really well. I carried my MacBook around and my iPad Pro during the trips, had no problems with them. And then that reaches over and snaps it so you can secure it in its place. It's a really great bag. I will tell you, after I traveled with it, there were some marks on it and I was like, oh crud. But wiped right off. The nylon is super sturdy. Love it. I also picked up this bad boy and I'll have to go back at my receipt and see if this is the medium or the small. I want to say it's the medium one because I think the small was like almost micro size. It is the same exact format of the other backpack. So it has the zipper pocket. It doesn't have like a sleeve for like a laptop or iPad, but front pocket, two side pockets, just in a smaller scale. This one also has gold hardware where I did the black on black in the large, so the zippers and hardware are all matte black as well, which I love. And then the big difference is these are like a fabric. They're not padded and there's like a gold chain to the straps, which I kind of love for something that I'm going to like truck around in a car trip 
or on the weekend. And for this one, I will sometimes throw it over one shoulder, but I find that I will carry this one by the top strap, kind of like my Chanel Urban Spirit backpack. So really excited to add this to my bag collection. And yeah, the Burberry Rucksack is my favorite bag of April. That is my favorite for the month of April. But I have one thing left to do before I say goodbye, and that is to give away the 2,000 subscriber gift. As I said, you had until April 15th to comment on March favorites because we had just hit 2,000 literally the day I posted March favorites. And I think on April 15th when it closed, we were at 2,700 subscribers. But then something happened. I'm not sure. <laughs> but it is now the end of April and we have 6,500 subscribers. I am overwhelmed by it, but it is a testament to the community we've built because I know so many of you have been sharing the channel on Facebook groups and on your Instagrams and with friends. So I thank you because I think you are a huge part of its growth. But I have the 2,000 subscriber giveaway, but it has become very clear to me that I'm not going to be able to keep up with the 1,000 subscriber giveaway because it's growing just too quickly. So what I've decided to do is once a month, I'm not gonna tell anyone until I post it on the video. I'm just gonna choose one video and randomly select a commenter um, and give them some things that I love. And I think that's my way of doing random acts of kindness. So once a month, I'm just gonna randomly select something. And that way it's on a consistent basis. And yeah, but I wanna share with you what the person who wins will be getting. And if you remember from my March favorites video, I was going to give you one thing from each of my favorites that I had posted up until that point. So here we go. The first thing you're going to get is a Thayer's Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula alcohol-free toner. I love this toner. I've talked about it in my favorites video. You know that I love rose petal and witch hazel is so good for your skin. It's a great toner. You will love it. The next thing you're going to get, and it's packaged up so well because Herbivore does a beautiful job with their packaging, is you are going to get, and I don't think I can get it open, gang, because I want to keep it wrapped up, but you are getting the pink clay Herbivore mask that I've talked about. That's the one that's in the powder form. Mix it with a little water, throw it on your face. Great mask. Super brightening, super just wonderful mask. It's one of my favorites. I go to it all the time. You are getting that. The next thing you are getting is one of my favorite leather pencil pouches that I was finally able to find at Home Goods. And in it, you are getting my favorite micro line pens. And I got you a set of three, six, nine, 12. I got you a set of 12 micro line pens. These are my favorite pens. I've talked about them many times. You are also getting one of my favorite books that I have ever posted, and that was actually in November, and that is Love Warrior by Glennon Doyle Melton. I'm also going to write you a little note in this when you receive it, but I want to know what your name is first. Next, you are getting the Francis CD. This was mentioned in March Favorites. I could tell you it is one of my favorite albums, not only of 2017, but of 2016, and it is just amazing. So many of you have already purchased it and are listening to it, and the feedback has been awesome. This is a great, great album. I think you're really, really gonna love it. And then the last thing in the gift is, of course, the surprise of 2017 so far, and that is your very own SJP candle cardamom, cinnamon, spice, warmth, everything beautiful. It is one of my all-time favorite candles now, and you will get to share in that experience. So that is the 2,000 <laughs> subscriber giveaway, even though we're approaching 7,000. And right now, I am going to randomly select the person. So let's go ahead and see who it is. As you can see, it's loading right now. All the comments are being loaded. There were 449 comments and I'm randomly picking the winner. And the winner is, and she has commented on many things as well, and it's Amy Fentress. Amy Fentress, you won! Um, Amy, make sure you instant message me over on Instagram or message me privately on YouTube because you are the winner of this entire gift set and I will get it in the mail to you as soon as I hear back from you. And I am so excited to share these favorites with you. Like I said, I will be randomly selecting from here on out once a month to just give people stuff that I truly love. I thank you so much for the support of this channel and I'm gonna leave it like I leave every single video. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind.
kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends. Bye-bye. I I am super excited. I the next thing I'm going. Oh my gosh, why do I do that sometimes? Oh, get it together.